Hey everyone, this is Michael again, and welcome to another movie review. And I got requested uh, to uh, review this film uh, from a YouTube user named Donovan Barry. And he commented on my uh, Raw review from uh, Monday saying, Oh, uh, you know, I was wondering if you might consider doing a review of this film because today is the 30th anniversary of uh, the film. And I'm like, I read the comment, I'm like, Yeah, why, why not? Uh, review this film because I haven't reviewed it and is one of my favorites it's the classic 1988 uh, Tim Burton film Beetlejuice and yes today is the uh, the 30th anniversary of the film uh, released back in uh, 1988 stars Alec Baldwin Gina Davis Jeffrey Jones Captain O'Hara Winona Ryder and of course Michael Keane uh, as Beetlejuice right there and I really love uh, you know, this poster art, the, you know, this cover to the film. This was the poster for uh, the film when it came out back in 1988. They also used this for the VHS, I remember. Of course, the DVDs and uh, the Blu-ray. So it's a really, uh, it's a really cool, nice, you know, poster, you know, that that they put out for the film. I really like it. So, but uh. Yeah, it's, what can, more can I say about Beetlejuice? It's a classic, uh, one of my favorites. Uh, I didn't grow up uh, watching this movie when I was a kid. I saw this movie, uh, I think, for the first time back in, I think it was 2005, uh, because I remember uh, Sci-Fi Channel uh, was playing the film, and I watched it, and I really loved it. And uh, it's just a classic uh, good movie. What more can I say about this film? I know everybody has seen it. Everybody, uh, you know, everybody knows it. So, but uh, everyone knows uh, what the plot to Beetlejuice is about. It's about uh, Barbara and Adam Maitland, played by Gina Davis and Alec Baldwin, and uh, they're you know they live in this uh, this country home, and as they're driving on the as they're driving back home. Uh, because they went into town as they drive back they get into an accident because there was a dog on the road so they had to swerve around it and you know pretty much uh you know they go into like a uh they go into like a bridge like and uh you know you see like the wood like all broken off when they crashed into it and uh, pretty much you know they're hanging from uh they're hanging from the uh the edge of the bridge uh which was being held up by like a broken piece of wood and the dog was on a uh, the little the little piece of wood and when the dog you know got off that's when uh, the car goes off the bridge they land in the water they end up dying and we see they are you know we see that they are now ghosts because they go back into their their home they continue living in their house at first you know they don't realize that you know that they are dead and we find out that their house gets sold. Uh, new people uh, move into the house. Uh, the new people are uh, the Dietz family, uh, played by uh, Jeffrey Jones, Captain O'Hara, and they also have a daughter uh, named Lydia, played by Winona Ryder, uh, who was like this uh, goth <laughs> kind of girl. And uh, also, the, they come there with their. Uh, I guess he, he's the design, the interior designer named uh, Otho, played by uh, Glenn Shaddix, who uh, sadly passed away back in uh, 2010. So, uh, you know, Gina Davis and Alec Baldwin, uh, they don't want, you know, the Dietz family living there. And they try to scare them away, but uh, ends up failing. Uh, they can't see... Uh, Gina Davis and Alec Baldwin, uh, Jeffrey Jones and Captain O'Hara, and Glenn Shaddix's characters. Only uh, Winona Ryder's character can see uh, Gina Davis and Alec Baldwin. And uh, both uh, Gina Davis and Alec Baldwin's characters find out about Beetlejuice, who is played by Michael Keane, who does a great job, fantastic job as Beetlejuice. Uh, really cool uh, makeup that they use, that they used on him. You can hardly tell that it's Michael Keane in the role and uh, you know Beetlejuice he's a bio exorcist you know and he tries to uh, scare away the Dietz family from living in the house 
So, you know, you got to end up, you know, having Beetlejuice come, you got to say his name three times. Uh, everybody knows that. And pretty much, basically, that's what the plot to the film is. But uh, really love the film. Uh, really like the, uh, the makeup uh, in the film. Uh, you know, because there's, uh, you know, a lot of stuff that they do, you know, like sort of like freaky uh, makeup stuff that they had. And uh, we see uh, in the film, you know, uh, Gina Davis and Alec Baldwin, uh, they go to uh, this netherworld, uh, which is this, you know, they go into the netherworld, which is like the, uh, they discover like the afterlife. And we see all like these distressed uh, souls there. Uh, one person, ex Alec Baldwin, you know, uh, want a cigarette, <laughs> which is funny though. But uh, all in all, Beetlejuice, what more can I say about it? It's a classic film. Uh, everybody does a great job. Uh, Alec Baldwin, Gina Davis, uh, Michael Keaton. Uh, what more can I say about it? It's just, uh, just a great film. Uh, everybody, like I said, everybody has seen this film, so they pretty much know, you know, what goes on in the film. But, uh, really, I also really like that little, like, uh, sort of like, like what, uh, Alec Baldwin had. It's like a, uh, a replica that he had of, like, the town there and, you know, the house that, that, you know, we see him, uh, you know, playing around, uh, with. I thought that really looked cool. I like the, uh. The day O scene where uh, they're all dancing, <laughs> and you just see like the hands come, the hand comes, you know, up from the ball and like, you know, go like that to them, and they they, they throw them, uh, the hand throws them back, throws uh, every one of them back. It was really funny. Uh, really like the uh, the soundtrack, the music in the film, uh, the uh, the day O, uh, the day O kind of. Uh, Re remix or something like that that they do at the beginning of the film really like that uh, the score is done by uh, Danny Elfman uh, who worked on a lot of who worked on a lot of the music on uh, Tim Burton's films but uh what more can I, what more can I say about Beetlejuice if you haven't seen the film definitely check it out but I know a lot of you probably had you know a lot of you probably have seen the film and here's the back to it this is the uh the old DVD uh, with the snapper case. This was released back in uh, 1997, it says here. So this was released when uh, DVDs uh, were first uh, coming out. And uh, I know that they did uh, they did a, a 25th anniversary uh, DVD uh, with uh, they added like three episodes of the uh, the Beetlejuice cartoon because after this film came out, they turned it into a cartoon series and. Uh, that pretty much, uh, that's pretty much on the, uh, the 25th anniversary DVD and also, uh, a document, I think also, uh, like the trailer and, you know, it wasn't a, wasn't a good, uh, special edition. You know, I, I never watched the cartoon when I was a kid. So, but really like to see a new, uh, DVD Blu-ray, you know, be released and have interviews with, uh, you know, Tim Burton uh, Alec Baldwin, Gina Davis, you know, Michael Keaton, you know, Michael Keaton could have, you know, you know, good stories about, you know, how they chose him to play Beetlejuice. You know, I would like to see that. I'd like to see a commentary by, uh, by them also. You know, just give us a good, give us a good special edition of Beetlejuice because it deserve it deserves it. You know, it deserves a, spe a good special edition. But, uh, this DVD only has, you know, the trailer to it, uh, production notes, so, but yeah, so really, I uh, really like the back to it. And this is, uh, also the, uh, the discs, uh, with the, uh, you know, when you turn the, uh, the discs over, it's either, you know, you can watch the film in full screen or widescreen. So then, uh, you got, you know, foes there. Really cool. Really awesome. Really like that, uh, that shot of, uh. Michael Keaton has Beetlejuice there. So, but uh, if you haven't seen Beetlejuice, definitely uh, give it a watch. It's a classic film. It's uh, one of my favorite Tim Burton films, and uh, definitely worth the watch. I know that they've been talking about doing a sequel uh, for you know a couple of years, 
and they want to get everybody back to do what they want. You know, and Tim Burton said he he will he will want to direct the sequel, and Michael Keaton said he will come back to uh, play Beetlejuice. So, I, you know, really like to see what they do with the sequel if it ever gets made. So, but uh, there hasn't been uh, there hasn't been talk there hasn't been talk about it. Uh, I think for like two years now, or like a year. It's been a while since I've since I've saw news that they were gonna do, you know, a sequel to this. But I'd really like to see what they do. So, but uh, yeah. So that's Beetlejuice, uh, classic film. Uh, if you haven't seen it, definitely give it a watch. So, yes. Yeah, so anyways, that's it for my review of Beetlejuice. And uh, really, uh, can't believe it. The film is uh, 30 years old today, because uh, uh, you know today was the uh, the release uh, back in 1988. So, so yeah. So that's it for this uh, movie movie review of Beetlejuice. Thank you all for watching, and uh, be sure to give this video a thumbs up, come subscribe, and until the next video, I'll see you all later. Bye.